Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. Um, today I want to introduce you into a new feature we have available in the beta channel at the moment. It is called Cross Tenant Joint for Microsoft Teams Video Interop. Basically what it means is that um, now you can join any Microsoft Teams meeting with your own Video Interop subscription. It's not necessary that the host has a video interop subscription, now you as a participant can have one and you can join any Microsoft Teams meeting with this. Today it is limited to the ad hoc join option we have available, so you have to enter the meeting ID and the password manually, but as soon as the one button to push option will come along, um, we will let you know for sure and then it will become even more easy to join these meetings. So today ad hoc only and soon it will become a one button to push option as well with the calendar integration. I quickly show you today how this looks like. So we join a Microsoft Teams meeting via the Microsoft Teams join button. We need to enter the meeting ID and the password. I quickly go ahead and do so. I mute device the device to make sure this is all fine. And the participant has been admitted. So the dual screen system I show at the bottom, I believe, of the screen here. And I'll do the same with the single screen system. I'll press the Join Microsoft Teams button. Uh, you'll enter the meeting ID and I'll join. Also here I'll make sure that I press Thank mute. Thank you for joining. We'll let the people in the meeting know that you're here. And I need to let the person into the meeting. Very good. So what can we do now? So we have the possibility to choose our layouts. We have on a single screen system a slightly different choice than on the dual screen system. On the dual screen system we have the grid layout. I quickly change the grid layout. I do the same on the single screen system and uh, we'll see there is quite some space used up by people who don't have the camera turned on. So let's um, improve this situation so these like black spots we don't really like them because it eats up um, screen estate so we go ahead and go to the keypad and say star 5 so the non-video participants are not shown anymore and I do the same here keypad on the dual screen system I have the grid view now as well with the people without video removed. I go back to the layouts. We had the grid layout. We have a look at the large gallery layout. <coughs> this one here. The large gallery layout is something coming from the Microsoft Teams platform. So it is produced from there and that's why we also have our self view shown there. And in for a dual screen system, we have the not only the self view, but we also see the active speaker on both screens. So let's go to the prominent layout. In the prominent layout, we have the active speaker slightly larger than the others. And we also have the focus where we basically see only the active speaker, my colleague Globy here. And in the dual screen layout, we have the active speaker and the person who spoke before the active speaker. In the single screen layouts, we have additionally overlay where you can, where it overlays the non talking people on top of the active speaker. And we have the stack view where you have the active speaker and on top the people who are not talking. But what about the sharing bit? So we can also share content into the meeting, into the Microsoft Teams meeting. We have here an iPad connected to this device via USB-C. 
but it would also allow to share um, content via AirPlay, via Miracast, HDMI, whatever, or Cisco proximity, whatever you choose to use. So let's share the content in the call. So we have the content large here shown and we have the other meeting participants uh, on top so we can still see what's going on. Um, besides just the content sharing, we can also point and annotate the content so we can like show, for example, that we really like uh, this number of that person, for example, the annotation is going away or the pointing is going away after a few seconds. I can also do this slightly more, per more permanent. I can say like, okay, this chair here is amazing. This one is less cool. And it will show on the other side as well. It will not only uh, show locally. Um, while I'm sharing here, I can also show a few layouts available uh, now on the dual screen system. So now the layouts I got to choose from are basically the single screen layouts. So I again have the possibility to show <clears throat> the grid view. I have the large gallery view available. I have the stack view now on the dual screen system. So the one screen is basically used by the content and the second screen is used by the video parts, the overlay, where at the bottom you have overlaid over the active speaker, the non-active talkers and uh, participants and the prominent view um, also on one screen and the content on the other, or the focus view, so basically the person talking. But let's say I, back to the grid view, but let's say I have my, or everybody in the meeting room has the laptop in front of him or her and sees the content on his laptop. I can then simply minimize the content and I'm back to a dual screen system. The content is minimized because everybody has it in front of him, his, her, and I have the layouts available here again for the dual screen system. Again, I quickly go through the grid view, large gallery view, the prominent option <coughs> and the focus view. So that's the various views I have available here when I minimize the content. But of course I can also uh, see who the participants are in the meeting. I actually see who is uh, sharing. I will also see if somebody is in the lobby and would like to get to be let in. I see what uh, if content is shared but not um, not shown because it is live content, for example. Um, and I can see if somebody raised his or her hand. So we now can see somebody raised his hand or her hand, and this is um, shown now here as well. I can go back here and see, okay, who the person is who actually raised the hand. I would like to show the content more locally in the meeting room. So basically, I can then show what's going on here. I can still um, annotate if I would like to do that. But the cool thing about this is actually, let's say I would like to focus on what I share, then I can go ahead and move the video participants on the top left, or I can move them on the top again, so I can <coughs> see all video participants, or I can adjust the size. That's also an option. If I would like to see the participants slightly bigger, I can do this, or if I, can, um, if I would like to see the particip participants even bigger or the same size as the content I share, I can do this as well. So that's quite a cool option. By the uh, way, there's also the option to control your Windows laptop remotely via this device and um, also while you are in a call. So that was it. Um, cross tenant join for Microsoft Teams meeting video interop. 
So now you have the option to dial into any Microsoft Teams meeting with your own video into op subscription. Um, as shown at the moment with uh, ad hoc only and will later come also with the one button to push option. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped and uh, looking forward to see you in my next video. Bye.